Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter on version 1.0. I am the Bearded OG, and very excited to start what will be for me season two of our playthrough of this absolutely amazing game. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here. We're going to um, do a new game here. I'm going to set the game mode on intense because I like the extra challenge of that. And we're also going to start at this new biome called the Ice Plains. Uh, otherwise, everything else is going to stay on the default intense settings, which basically means that terraformation takes longer, vitals um, uh, uh, deplete more quickly, power consumption when you have more power consumption and things like that. And so it just makes the overall experience of the game a little more challenging. Now, when you start the game on intense, especially when you don't start in the in the, the normal start area, the beginner area, um, the biggest problem you have at the beginning is food. And um, there's a possibility that we might die once or three times <laughs> before we can get food under control, but maybe not. We'll just have to see how things go. All right, let's go ahead and create the game and load it in and have some fun here in version 1.0. Very cool. Okay. That is the new opening sequence. We didn't have that in the early access version of the game. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab an oxygen and a water. The rule is that those stay in our inventory at all times. Absolutely no exceptions until we have breathable atmosphere. And then, of course, we don't have to have uh, oxygen in there after that. Water at all times. Those are the rules. If we break those rules, we may pay the ultimate price. Because we are on intense difficulty, what that means, among other things, is that if we do die, we lose everything in our backpack. And I am not going to cheese that and try and dump everything out if we get in trouble. We are going to lose it and pay the price for being a numbskull and not minding our oxygen and water. That's part of the challenge of intense, so we're going to honor the, the devs vision for for uh, you know for playing that way okay let's go ahead and make ourselves a tier one backpack we'll put that in a slot there it opens up another row for us and we also need to make a tier one oxygen tank so we need a mag and two cobalt let's find those and we'll also continue to pick up iron because we're gonna need tons of it there's a mag there whoop and we need two cobalt let's just uh run down here I uh, see some over this way. Oh. Yowzers. Oh, there's a cobalt right there. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to fall down there. That would be bad, bad news. Yeah, oxygen uh, and food, water, all that stuff run, runs out more quickly on intent. So you really, really have to mind it. Let's make the T1 tank. Put that in one of our tech slots here. And now we have 145 units of oxygen as opposed to the 100 that we started with. We're gonna leave all of this stuff in here for now. Next thing we're gonna do is make ourselves a uh, construction microchip and a deconstruction microchip. If you happen to be watching this game for the very first time, we have a multi-tool. We use the same tool throughout the whole game, but we can upgrade its functionality by uh, using these various different microchips. Let's pick up some resources here. In the upper left-hand corner, we kind of have a, a starting uh, to-do list. So we will be following that more or less as we go along, in addition to doing the other things that we need to do to make this work. Let's grab that. Let's grab the silicon. Let's go back and see what else we need, because I wasn't paying full attention to everything we needed to make these, but we'll make it work. Okay, um, let's make the... Uh, we need a magnesium, another magnesium, rather. Let's grab one of those. Later on, we'll get a jet pack, but for now we're on foot and we're moving pretty darn slow. And uh, it kind of sucks because I just came off of my season one playthrough where we had you know, the fully upgraded jet pack and we could just scooch around. And now we got to start over, but that's the way it works. I'm very excited though to play this new version of the game. Okay, we need another silicon and a magnesium for the deconstructor. Pretty much need that stuff right from the get go. You could get away with not having the deconstructor right out of the chute, but you you have to absolutely have the constructor, so we're just going to make both of them. Um, okay, so we what did I say? A magnesium and a... Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot again. Silicon, I think it was. All right, well, let's just grab a mag and uh, inventory's full. Okay. Oh, actually, here. Yeah, put that in there. Um, we need... I think we needed a silicon. Here's one right here. All right, let's get back to the ship. 
or the pod in this case. We should be able to make it back okay. After we do this, then we're going to make our first hut. We're going to put it right next to the pod because we need it to get started with some terraforming stuff and to put down our first a tier two crafting station. We'll pop that in there. Okay, good. So we have all of our starting tools that we need. And the very next thing we are going to do, in fact, is make ourselves a starting hut. Uh, but we need, we'll put those two things in there. Uh, we're going to need some sil uh, some more silicon to do that. Two pieces, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's run up this way. This new biome is crazy, man. Really neat. It's called the Ice Fields. And uh, I'm looking forward to exploring it and seeing what it has to offer for us. So we have one more spot. Let's just grab an extra silicon. The, the, the things that you need in the in the early very early game are silicon and, uh, and iron. You need all of it, right? But those are the two things that you're constantly needing. So we'll build our first hut. We'll build the door. We can go in now, replenish our oxygen. Again, for those of you who are new to this game, we'll have to be we'll have to build a whole bunch of these all around the map as little waypoints to replenish our O2 until we eventually get breathable atmosphere. Uh, we should have enough to also make our first tier two crafting station. I'll put that right in the corner there. And from here we can make a T1 exoskeleton and a flashlight, both of which we're also gonna need. Let's make this first. We need a magnesium. And that'll open up more tech slots for us, which we will of course need for all kinds of different things as time goes on. Let's grab this magnesium and this iron. In fact, I'm just going to load up here on all of this stuff. Iron especially. I love the fact, too, that we have new music now. Um, the early access version of the game had one song, and that's it. <laughs> it played it over and over. It was a cool tune, but, you know, like anything else, after you've heard it about 589 times... It's like, okay, we need something new. So I'm very glad that they added new music, among other things. Okay, let's go here and make uh, this. And then we'll pop that in there. Uh, oh, actually, we got to take this out first. Pop this in there. And now we have an extra row for tech slots. Next thing we want to do is make the flashlight. And pop that in there. And now we have a light. It kind of sucks, but it's better than nothing. Uh, which we are absolutely going to need when we start exploring ships because they are pitch black inside. While we're here, let's go ahead and put down, um, let's put down some storage. Can I build one more out that way? Nope, that's as far as we're going. Okay, so yeah, this will be our little storage corner then. Um, and we'll start by putting you there. And let's do, yeah, let's do three. I mean, we're gonna need way more than that, but we'll start with three. Okay, put all this stuff in here. Uh, next, we need to get a, a turbine and a drill going, and eventually a heater. So, actually, yeah, let's grab all of this. I'm not interested, or concerned, rather, I should say, with where we place things. We will make things nice and neat later on when we start setting up our, our more permanent bases. Right now, we're just doing what we need to do to survive. Uh, no, I want the U. And we need to make another one of you now because that took too much power. Very good. Okay, so now that just got our TI started. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see we have one terraforming index. Late, yeah, yes. Uh, oh, now we have two. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're, on, we're well on our way. Uh, just have a very long ways to go. Uh, let's see. Next thing is let's get the veggie tomb going next. Oxygen is really important for us to get started because that's what's going to open up our food grower. And uh, until we get the food growers, we're, we're going to be in danger uh, of running out of food. So let's see. We need iron, ice, and a magnesium for that. I think I'll grab a couple pieces of ice. And uh, let's go out this way. Grab a silicone, but what we really want, or silicon rather, what we really want is you. And I think I said a magnesium, right? I believe so. Where the hell is the magnesium? Grab more iron while we're out here because we need it. 
Um, there's a couple pieces of mag down there. And we should start heading back because we're already halfway down on our O2. I do have the bottle in an emergency, but I don't want to use those if I don't have to. Okay, yep, we should be fine. If you have played this game and you never have played on intense difficulty, it really uh, it really does make a difference on how fast that stuff runs down. you got to really mind it. All right, what are we doing? We are making a veggie tube. Okay, let's put that right here for now. Actually, no, I'm going to put that... I'm going to put it right here temporarily. Now what we want to do is go over and grab this plant out of here. Get that going, and that'll get started with our O2. And hopefully when we go out and about and start looking for crates, we'll find more plants to help boost O2. There's two kinds of seeds in the game. Well, there's actually multiple seeds, but these types of seeds are used for generating O2, not for food. And then there's a different type of seed for food, and we need to find those as soon as possible as well. Uh, all right, let's see here. I'm going to make this now just so we have it ready, but we're going to wait till the last possible second before we take it. And uh, I'm going to put one thing of iron. Actually, you know what? Let's make... Let's do this. I think we're going to need about four turbines to get all this very early stuff going. So let's just make them right now. Let's make another drill. And uh, let's make... Uh, okay, yeah, let's just go with that. And I think what we want to do now is we want to go out and start doing a little bit of exploring. But we need to make sure we have all the stuff necessary to uh, set down a waypoint hut for O2. I'm going to take one of these now. It's going to get us really close to the top. And I'm going to take this extra O2 bottle as well since we're going to go a little further afield. That stuff can just stay in there for the moment. All right, so... Oh, oh, there's our water. Okay. Yeah. Want to wait till the last possible second to stretch this out as long as we can. All right. We're going to need two titaniums, four iron, and two silicon. Uh, yeah, we already got the two silicon. We need four iron, one more of those, and one more titanium. And then we have enough to make a hut with a door and a T1. Uh, or no, sorry, two, tier two crafting station. Yep, we have everything there. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're looking for crates. We're looking for blue crates or gold crates. Gold crates are much rarer. Is that a, what is that over there? Ah, I think we found a cave. All right, let's pop in. Actually, no, let's get this built first so we can replenish our O2. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm not actually gonna leave this hut here but we will find places where it strategically makes sense to keep a permanent hut for a waypoint. Right now we're just using it to replant our O2. Let's go pop our head in here and see what there is to see. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what we want to find, a blue crate. Eh, well, okay, it's got useful resources, but not really what we need at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna actually put all of that stuff back in there. We'll come and get that later. That sucked. I was hoping for seeds or plants, or iridium, because we need iridium. Oh, there's aluminum here, though. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Ooh, wow, look at this. This really goes back down in here. Okay, let's see if we can find another crate. Um, it's good to know that aluminum's nearby. We're going to need that pretty darn soon. And we have our Tier 2 oxygen tank. That's amazing. Uh, so we'll make that as soon as possible. Speaking of oxygen, let's go ahead and replenish that again. Beautiful. Take this back down. Keep looking for blue crates. The thing, too, is that, you know, you see the blue cobalt, so you automatically think, oh, it's a blue crate. Oh, wow. Okay, so this branch is off to the right. Oh, and it looks like it, there's an entrance back up that way. Okay, let's, uh, let's pop down to the right real quick and see what there is to see here. Again, this is a brand new biome. The, it wasn't in the early access game, so, you know, none of us are familiar with it except for... Oh, look, there we go. Uh, nice. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is exactly what we need. We need a seed, and that's a good multiplier seed. We need food seeds. We got a blueprint and an extra space food. That's exactly what we were looking for. All right, let's head back. 
Um, let's head back to the base. After we replenish our O2. Um, I wonder if that opening that we just saw, it looks like it comes back up around to where our base is. If it doesn't, you know, we'll just pop this back down again and go back the way we came. But if it does, that's going to be like a huge shortcut for us. It's really good to have this cave nearby with all this, you know, aluminum in it as well. Man, it's dark in here. See, that's why we need the light. <laughs> There's more aluminum. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. There's an iridium. Okay, we're going to put uh we're going to put this iron in We're going to drop the iron, take the iridium. I'll come back for that. It'll stay there. Uh cuz we need that to make our first heater. That was a really good find as well. Okay, so we have found a food seat. That means we might, and I want to emphasize might, <laughs> we might be able to make this work without dying. We'll see. Uh, all right, the first thing we're going to do is, well, okay, we got to put some shit away. Um, let's just put all this in here for the moment. We're going to switch out this seed, which is just a 100% multiplier, with this one, which is a 200%. So that'll generate twice as much oxygen as the other seed it did. Uh, so already that's a good upgrade. And then we'll make another veggie tube for this here in just a little bit. What I want to do right now, though, is I want to make our first heater. Mm, so we just need an iron. And let's let's make it. And I'm going to put it right there. Excellent. Okay. That's going to boost our terraforming index. Uh, we also, what do we get? We, did, we got a new tier two oxygen tank. So we need a titanium, a cobalt, and two mags. Uh, a titanium. Right. So we just need a cobalt and two magnesium. Let's go find it. So, yeah, that's very encouraging that, you know, we were able to find a food seed and an oxygen seed right off the bat. I think we also needed a magnesium, right? Where is the magnesium? There's one way over here. Oh, okay. See that straight, straight ahead. Those are, that's called the labyrinth. I know where we are then. Uh, we're, we're very close. Um, I think we're just to the west, actually, of west. Yeah. Or east. West. East. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're just to the east of the starting area. That's really good news. Because what we can do is kind of leapfrog some waypoints, uh, sheds, to get over there. And uh, then, then we should be able to find a lot of food over there. So I'm fairly confident, now that I know that, I'm fairly confident that we are going to make this happen without dying. I mean, without dying due to food, lack of food out of my control. We might die to my stupidity. Uh, that's <laughs> that's definitely uh, in the cards, p potentially. Well, hopefully not, but, you know, uh, it could happen. All right, here's what we're going to do. Um, let's take and store, keep the food stored over here for now. Uh, we'll continue to take advantage of this storage bin, uh, and we'll get the, keep the food seed in there. Let's wait a little bit longer before we take another food. And I think what we should do at this point is expand out that way. Uh, so we need, yeah, we should be able to do that. There we go. And then we want to craft our screens. Let's go ahead and do that and get those off the list. Uh, oh, wait, wait, we're doing the T2 tank first. I just burned one of my titaniums. There we go, we got another one. Okay, so right now we have 145 units of oxygen. Now we have 200, so huge. We've got twice the oxygen capacity that we did when we first started, so that is amazing. Okay, let's put that stuff in there. Um, I'm actually inclined to make another veggie tube and put that in it to keep O2 going before we do the screens. Why don't we do that? Iron, ice, and a mag. Uh, there's the iron. Oh, we got the T2 backpack as well. Okay, so we need an ice and a magnesium. Oh, we got magnesium over here. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab that. Iron, ice, and we need an ice. We are in the ice field, so that should be pretty damn easy to find. While we're out and about, let's just fill up on the way back. We'll grab another ice and another iron. Silicon. 
It's nice to find the, the iron nearby for sure. Have to keep an eye on our water level. All right, let's make this... Uh, cobalt and a titanium. Did I... What the hell did I just go out there for? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm like all confused. Okay. We need... Uh, let's make the oxygen tank first. Okay, so we need a cobalt and a titanium. Let's put this and this in there. Oh, no, we were going to make another veggie tube. That's right. Sorry. I'm old. Sometimes I forget shit. Get used to it. <laughs> it's going to happen again. That tr trust me. Uh, okay, put that there. Grab this flower, or not flower, or plant seed, and we have more oxygen production going. Beautiful. Okay, now let's focus on, um, well, actually, let's get our, our backpack first. So we need a silicon and a titanium for that. There's our silicon. I'm going to put um, you there. We'll deal with this microchip here in just a moment. Now we're just looking for some titanium. Here's a piece right here. I do have a water bottle, yep, whoop, and an O2 bottle. Don't really need two O2 bottles in our inventory when we're this close to the base, but I didn't think we were going to come back this quick, but we came back this quick for good reasons. Okay, we have three more slots. Let's fill that up with iron, titanium, and a cobalt. All right, let's head back. We're making good progress so far. We're up to 426 TI already. It's a beautiful thing. All right. We want to make this. No, this. Okay, so that opened up another slot there. Now to make... Oh, we've already made the T2 tank. That's right. Duh. Okay, I'm glad I didn't make another one of those. Well, that would have been a waste. All right, next thing we want to do is let's craft our screens. Um, so we want to make a terraformation screen, and we'll put that... Looks like I need to flip it around this way. We'll put that right there so we can keep track of our progress here. And we need to drink. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to immediately make another water. That's the rules. we got to keep that shit in our inventory all the time. No exceptions. No exceptions at all. None. Zilch. Zero. Okay. Let's make our blueprint screen. And I'm just going to put that right down in front of there for now. Now we can decode this blue chip we have. And it should give us a mining speed thing, which we're not really that concerned about at the moment. We will do it. Uh, but it's not the most important thing in the world at the moment. Uh, okay, let's see. Now, we can't make the progress screen yet, and it hasn't actually unlocked, so we'll have to wait for that to happen. A uh, very useful screen, though, when it does happen. So we've got our Tier 2 backpack and our Tier 2 oxygen tank. So we're as far along as we can possibly be at this point. Um, I think the next thing we'll do is... Probably should go out and, and continue looking for more crates. I'd like some more iridium for more heat. I'd like to find some more plants for more oxygen. Um, so to do that, we want to make sure, once again, that we have everything we need to make our little survival huts. We need one more titanium and one more iron and one more silicon. Okay, that's none of that stuff. Let's go back down into that cave, actually. Because there was some good stuff down there. There's a silicon. Didn't need a magnesium. There's an iron. Okay, that cloth is really good because we're gonna need that for. Here, let's just. Okay, we're already full. We might as well just go back and drop off. Uh, we need. I think we need two pieces of cloth for what are called the agility boots, which basically let us move faster, like 15% faster on the first tier. And those should be coming up the next time we find a blue uh, microchip. We're pretty close to that anyway. All right, so I'm not, I don't give a shit where anything's located right now. We're just going to put stuff wherever. 
will we'll be nice and organized later on. I promise that that will happen. Okay. Uh, we just need one more titanium, and then we have a full set for a hut. Once again, let's go back down into the cave. What is that? Oh, it's a buried cobalt. Did we get it? We didn't. Yeah, it's glitched. Okay, whatever. That does happen sometimes. One of the minor bugs of this game. Certainly not game-breaking by any stretch of the imagination. All right, we needed one more of these so we can make our full hut. Okay, we're good to go there. I'm going to skip the aluminum for the moment just because it's it's nearby. Uh, let's go back down this way. I don't remember. Did we pick up that? No, we didn't pick up that entire crate. So we left something there because we didn't have room. We'll deconstruct that for another piece of iron. What do we got going on around here? Uh, looks like we can get down there. Oh, look. Nice. Okay, yeah. Let's go down this way. We'd be slipping and sliding on our ass if uh, this was real life. Maybe we have crampons on our boots. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Get this down quick. Gotta pay attention, man. Uh, we do need to be mindful of our food level, too. It's getting pretty dangerously low there. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is really good. Okay, we'll take all that. Deconstruct. I think we're going to leave this hut here. We'll come back down here, pick it back up, and continue exploring after we go back up to our main base and drop some of this stuff off and make another heater. That was great that we got that iridium. But I'm also, like I said, I'm also really encouraged that we're as close to the starting zone as we are uh, because, you know, we'll probably go over there as soon as we can and loot you know, start looting some of the ships because I know for sure we'll get the food we need among other things. But we're uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Not off to a bad start, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with how things are going up to this point. All right, first thing I want to do is make another heater. And we have everything we need to do that. And of course that tanked our power. That's not surprising. Let's put in another turbine. Maybe even two, but we should we should start to see the um the the uh, solar panel unlock here fairly soon. I'm gonna take this right now. How many more of those do we currently have? We still have five. Okay, yeah. I think, again, I think we can make this work. I might be a little overconfident, but we got to stay positive, right? All right, so since we have these two guys, we should make two more veggie tubes. Um, how soon is the tier two going to unlock? At 500 PK, yeah, that. but we just put that second heater in, so that's going to help speed that up. In the meantime, let's just make some more of the tier ones, and then we can recycle them and have them go towards the tier twos. Uh, so what are we going to need for that? We're going to need ice and magnesium. Uh, let's grab this ice. We'll put the iron in there, and those can go in there. The silicon can go in there. So we need uh, one more iron, one more ice, one more. Yeah, just that two. Those two. One more iron, one more ice. Yep, that's, uh, that's the labyrinth, so we are quite close to the starter area, actually. A lot closer than I thought, maybe. There's a bunch of super alloy, among other things, in the labyrinth. And there's several gold chests that we'll be going after. I know where most of them are from my Season 1 playthrough. Alright, we're going to put these right here for now. Grab the two plants. I guess I have them in my inventory. Pop those in and get that oxygen production going so we can get to the food grower. 
once we get the food grower down and have some food growing in it, I'll be able to rest a little more easily. Uh, but we, we also have to get to the tier two solar panel because the food growers use a lot of power. Oxygen affects the food grower and we need 12 PPTs and we're currently only at 300 and some change PPQ, but it is going up. This is the next thing we want to unlock. It's going to unlock very quickly and that uh, increases our power output by making solar panels. All right, so, um, oh, we have our first meteor storm. All right, so those guys are actually going to bring us resources, but they could also hit us in the head and cause some serious damage, so we do want to kind of be careful of them. I think what we'll do is let's, let's go back down into that canyon where our hut currently is and look for a couple more crates. But if we don't find more crates fairly soon, I think we're going to start uh, leapfrogging to the starter zone to hit some ships. There we go. We got our T1 solar. Nice. All right. Anything? Hopefully nothing's coming towards us. I'm not looting on the way down here because I want to leave room in our inventory. Alright. We're a little safer down in this canyon. At least I like to tell myself that. Could be pure BS. I don't know. I'll have something fall on our head. Okay, it looks like there might be more cave here that's currently blocked. Let's just kind of go along down through here. I think that's that. Our, our base is just right up above us on the left there. Looking for a couple more crates here. Gonna have to take a drink in a moment. There's our base up that way. That's a cobalt. It says in the description that this will eventually turn into a lush area. So I'm very look, much looking forward to seeing how that all comes together. All right, I'm not really seeing any crates out here. So here's what I think we're going to do. Let's go probably... Got to get this down right now. We'll fill that back up. All right, we're going to go a little bit further towards the labyrinth. Um, this is probably a good, as good of a place as any. And we're going to leave this here. This is going to be a permanent waypoint for us. To, oh, what's the matter? Thirsty. Okay. Um, you know what, though? I think I want to move this back just a little bit so we can put the door on the side. And uh, let's also make ourselves a crafting station. So we need a silicon and an iron for that. And actually, can we find one more iron and we'll put a, a storage chest in as well. There we go. It'll be worth it for us to go explore the starter area and the ships in particular because, you know, we're, we're bound to find food. And if we can find enough space food to sustain us until we can grow our own... Uh, we should be in good shape. All right, we're going to actually turn this into a power turbine instead of a, a, a chest. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here because I actually have to leave in real life. Uh, but we're off to a very good start. I'm very pleased with how things are going for us so far. What we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to run back uh, to our original base, grab, um, we, we need to make another water, grab 
one thing of food um, and really top ourselves off. And then we're going to go further afield. We're going to go to that beyond that area to the starter area and start hitting some of the ships. And um, yeah, so that's the plan for the next episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.